Hey, what's up, everybody? It's uh, February 18th, 2019. I just want to show you guys what the traffic's looking like on North Shore heading down the hill. Well, I mean, this is in the middle of town, but all these people on the left side of us here are heading out of town because Highway 38 is closed, um, or they're actually re uh, requiring R3 conditions, meaning that every vehicle has to have chains on them. Um, I, I read what it said. At first, I didn't think it meant every vehicle, every vehicle but when I read the... Uh, the condition spreadsheet type thing. It explained exactly the verbiage that was used in what I read is exactly R3 conditions. Um, that all vehicles need traction devices, no exceptions. That means R3 conditions. R2 conditions mean all vehicles need traction devices except for four x four and all wheel drive. But right now we're at all vehicles need traction devices, no exceptions, that's R3 conditions. So. Even the biggest 4x4 truck, Hummers, all that stuff, you need for you need chains on your car. <coughs> but I want you guys to see just all this traffic. Everyone's going down and leaving this town one direction. So peace out, guys. This is the aftermath video starting right now. All right, guys, so this is the aftermath video. I just want to show you guys the traffic at first, but um, we're going to do some lake shots today too. I don't know how good they're going to be from the car, but it's going to have to work because it's really, really cold outside. It's 25 degrees. 11.36 in the morning. I don't know if you guys can see. There it is. And yeah, so that's what we got going on in town. At my house, we got about six or seven inches of new snow overnight. And it's like a champagne powder, you guys. It's really nice snow. It's like a Rocky Mountain type snow. It's really nice. So here's, here's the lake. You can tell it definitely rose quite a bit. And uh, yeah very 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 exciting because we really need this lake to have a lot of water in it and when the lake has a ton of water in it it just looks a lot nicer too so right on guys enjoy the drive Hopefully we don't get any calls so I don't have to stress out like I always do. Just want to get this video complete and uploaded. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks again for all of you who, who helped my channel, man. I really appreciate you guys big time. There's a mountaintop ranger station right here. Woohoo! Woo so over here last night there was a Jeep completely on its side in the ditch right here and I think it's still here yep look guys look at that that's a bummer holy crap look at that that is a bummer Man. remember I stopped and I asked everybody if they needed help if they were okay so they, they all said they're all good they're just waiting for someone so anyway it's always the right good Samaritan thing to do just to make sure in situations like that and honestly if I had the time you guys I'd probably pull over and help people put on chains too so I just don't have time for that unfortunately you guys gotta learn learn how to do that just like I have to learn how to do that I, I suck at putting on chains but I'd still try to help somebody if I have time I just I'm just so not I just don't have time So back to talking about the roads real quick, and then I'll let you guys just chill. Uh, Highway 18 is still closed, according to an officer I spoke to a little bit ago. He was just randomly, he pulled up next to me, so I had him roll down his window and I asked him a couple questions. Um, he said, Highway 18 is still closed, Highway 38 is still R3 conditions. That's why you see everybody going down this this way, the backside, Highway 18. Obviously not from this direction, because you're not, uh, yeah. From Stanfield Cutoff, going that way you'll see a bunch of people but um, yeah so highway 38's uh, R3 conditions and highway 18 on the backside it's gonna be treacherous you guys but it's the only way out right now 
not going to have as much snow. But it's, it's there's uh, there are a few cutbacks on that road that are really gnarly, so just be careful. So anyway, we're about to enter Fonskin, guys. <coughs> There's a cool snow blower right there that that guy has to the right, right on. So for the next week or so, guys, we're not supposed to get above freezing, period. So that'll be one of the longest stretches that we've had since I've lived here where it was just the temps didn't get above freezing. And it's already been like that for the past three or four days. So this is like, it's going to be almost a half a month straight where the temperatures stay below freezing. How cool is that? And that's even for the daytime high temperatures, guys. It's so cool. And guys, look at the lake. Look at how beautiful it is with snow across the whole lake. Oh man, oh man, that looks beautiful. Gosh, it's such a beautiful place. Just magnificent, magnifique. All right, as I said, 23 degrees. But we're getting snow melt because of the sun. The sun penetrating through. It's not that the temperature's hot, but the sun is, uh, the snow is in direct sunlight. It's gonna affect it. But also, keep in mind, fresh snow really reflects sunlight too, big time. So um, that's why lots of times after a big fresh snow, towns will, even on bluebird days, will still keep a lot of their snow because the sun reflects right off of it. But at the same time, it creates warmage too. So even when it's a way below freezing, like uh, now you'll you, you'll still see, like at my house, there was water dripping from my roof. Yeah, so I mean, that's probably from the heat that I have on inside, but still, you guys get my point, I hope. a lot of the snow out from this area. Wow, it's just amazing, you guys. I wish the lake was full all the way up to here, but you can see like streams of water going all the way up to right here, which is really, really good because we haven't seen that in a few years. In a few years, man. I haven't seen that since I've lived here, to tell you the truth. So that's pretty cool. That camera back up there. So now we're in Fonskin, you guys. If you guys are interested in a really, really good, good restaurant for breakfast, North Shore Cafe. Yeah, sorry, Tesla. You have to wait for me, buddy. All right. This is a really, really neat, neat part of the valley. I love this place. So small and quaint. Change re required, four-wheel drive, okay. That must be in town. So. Wow, look straight ahead. Those mountains at, at the very top up there, that's over by San, uh, that's the San Gorgonio area. And it's nice because uh, right at the very top there, I think they're just above the tree line. And so it's bald up there and just looks really, 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 really pretty. Just like this whole area. Hey, 
And getting back into town this way is not going to be a big deal because Highway 18 is closed, so there shouldn't really be any traffic um, until we get to like Boulder Bay. And then people from Boulder Bay driving into town, that'll create some of the traffic. But you guys will be, uh, you know, if you're willing to come up Highway 18, you guys, or if you're really down to just throw on the chains, because I hate doing that. I'd rather just drive around, honestly. That, But that's just me. That's just me, guys. I'd rather just drive around instead of having to deal with putting on chains in the cold weather and getting on your hands and knees, getting all dirty. Like, dude, it just sucks. It just sucks. And when I lived in, in Denver, Colorado, you never heard about people putting on chains. Like, what's that about? Never, ever heard about that. When I lived in Utah, I never heard about people putting on chains. It's only here, man. And, and like I've spent time in, in places like Vail and Copper Mountain and stuff and never heard of it. Like I think like uh, yeah I think it's just a Southern California thing maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they use them everywhere. I just never heard of it or saw it in those in, in those places. Maybe on the mass transportation I did to tell you the truth. But guys, look at that view. Oh my gosh, just incredible. Just amazing, guys, wow. Then Snow Valley, you can see it from here. Way out there, that big piece of white straight ahead, about one o'clock for you guys. That's Snow Valley Ski Resort, all the way in Running Springs, and it just looks unbelievably covered in snow. And San Gorgonio does too. It's those mountains above Snow Summit right there. If you guys can see, just just amazing. I can't really watch. I got to watch the road, but I know I'm pointing it in the right direction. Yeah, just really, 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 really nice, you guys. guys it really is so pretty over here temperature rose back up to 24 I'm telling you, man, that little patch of Snow Valley out there looks absolutely incredible. Looks like Denali, <laughs> just covered in snow. to the dam and then I can put the phone back on the holster. Just wanted you guys to see what the lake's looking like after all this rain and snow. Hope it helped a little bit to give you guys an idea. But apparently it's risen officially three feet. So um, I'm sure it's gonna be more after this, after we get the measurements from this last little storm. 
not gonna be much, maybe a couple more inches after that. Because we didn't get that that much. We just got about six, eight inches of snow. But because it was so dry and so cold, it didn't really use that much precipitation. I think maybe we got like a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of precipitation, but it came down as almost a foot of snow in a lot of places. So guys, look, so someone just tried going right here. I don't know why. I don't know why it's uh, closed down. Is he gonna make a U-turn? Yeah, good, what an idiot. There's CHP over there too. So there's no getting into town this way, guys. That's why it's so empty right here. This is pretty awesome though. Look at this, guys. We're the only ones right here when usually you'd see a million people on the side of the road just putting on, or sorry, in the, in the middle of the road putting on chains um, because there is no side of the road. And uh, yeah, but this is great, guys. This is fantastic. It'd be nice if like there was one entrance and exit for this town that was for like locals only where you show them like in, like an ID or if there's like a fast pass a fast track type thing for like locals to like uh, take a special road um, that, that'd be kind of cool or you can take the road if you drive like a local <laughs> oh, look at all this snow guys so pretty Back up to 24 degrees, and it's almost high noon. So, a little peekaboo shot of the lake right there. Yeah, just look at how all this fresh snow right here. That's just so nice looking. It's gonna be good. This video's not, we're not gonna do it too much longer so it'll upload quickly. Maybe we'll go to 20 minutes and then that's it. There's no need to go all the way down Big Bear Boulevard and all that stuff because you guys get a sense of what's going on. I have to go down Big Red Boulevard anyway, but I don't like uploading these long, long, long videos, even though they are really pretty. pay attention closely to the to the road reports because I have to go down to Apple Valley today and, and I might not go now because of uh, everybody and their mom are going down Highway 18 on the backside and I know there's just going to be it's just going to be a nightmare I've learned my lesson thinking that like oh maybe this time it'll be different maybe this time it'll be different maybe this time people will learn how to drive maybe this time it'll be different nope never it's always the same so just learn to deal with it learn to deal with it Sometimes I wish I had a rocket propel grenade, but that wouldn't help anything. <laughs> Gosh, look at all the snow over here. So as we're getting closer to uh, Boulder Bay, we're getting more and more snow. And they actually, from what I saw, because I drove all the way to Irwin yesterday too, looked like Boulder Bay, once again, got the most amount of snow. Barely. Irwin got dumped on last night, and so did Sugarloaf. But this part of town right here got the most, most amount of snow. Bay. You guys to see that there's access now. Look. Where those 
big rocks are in the center, there's access to get here on boat again. Thanks for watching February 18, 2019. This is the snow aftermath. Hope you take care, and uh, I will be uploading this in the next 10 minutes. It'll probably take 30 minutes to upload. Peace out, guys. I love you guys very much. Bye.